Hello students, welcome to Physics Fact. Today we discuss about TIR, Total Internal Reflection and Critical Angle and some phenomena on the basis of Total Internal Reflection. This phenomena says that when light traveling in a denser medium to rarer medium strike the interface as the angle of incident is greater than critical angle as the angle of incident is greater than critical angle then the ray totally reflected back to the same medium is called as total internal reflection this one is for definition we study in details so students first here the first condition in the total internal reflection the first condition is ray passes from denser to rarer medium ray passes from denser to rarer medium always take that rarer medium mu1 and denser medium mu2 as we take that ray passes from denser to rarer medium this one is the angle of incident and here light deviate the ray deviate from its actual position as ray passes from denser to rarer medium it go away from the normal this one is the angle of refraction then as we increase the incidence angle as we increase the incidence angle okay the angle of refraction is also increases and further as we increase the angle of incidence gradually that angle of refraction increases at such a point the angle of refraction is 90 degree the angle of refraction is 90 degree here the ray is refracted but goes parallel to the interface or goes along with interface so here angle of refraction that is 90 degree in that condition that angle of incidence is called as critical angle okay so what is critical angle the critical angle is the angle for which the angle of refraction is 90 degree in the rarer medium so that in denser medium that angle of incidence is called as critical angle okay students now further if we increase the angle of incident further we increase the angle of incidence then what happened as that angle of incidence is greater than this critical angle and this angle of incidence is greater than this critical angle then the ray is totally reflected to the same medium totally reflected that means 100 percent of rays is reflected back to the same medium so this phenomena is called as total internal reflection here also the angle of reflection is equal to angle of incidence here it obey laws of reflection now take that here is an object is placed at certain distance from an interface in denser medium take that radar medium having refractive index mu1 and denser medium having refractive index mu2 take number of rays if we consider this one is a ray oa is a ray passes normal to the interface there is no deviation occur and ad is the refracted ray now take another incident ray here this one is the angle of incidence so this angle is equal to this angle okay this incident angle is in denser medium and the ray passes from denser to rarer medium this one is the actual path of the incident ray but here deviation occur this one is the refracted ray next take another incident ray this one as the angle of incidence is greater take as this one i1 so next this one is i2 here angle of incidence is greater compared to i1 okay i2 is greater than i1 at that case angle of refraction is also greater this one is the actual path of the incident ray but here deviation occur so this one is the angle of refraction here this one is the angle of refraction next take another incident ray okay so 
got this angle is take as I3 and this angle is I3. Here I3 is greater than I2 and I1. We gradually increase the angle of incidence. Here what happened? The ray is refracted but goes parallel to the interface or goes along with the interface. At this condition that R is equal to 90 degree. At that condition that angle of incidence is known as critical angle. Now we determine what is the relation between this critical angle with respect to the refractive index of this medium. Ok students. Take another incident ray. This one. And this one is the total angle of incidence. And here the angle of incidence is greater than I4, I3. Here take as that angle of incidence I4. So I4 is greater than I3. Angle of incidence is greater than critical angle. At this condition the ray is reflected to the same medium. Your no refraction occur. That ray is totally reflected to the same medium. So here students in case of total internal reflection we just remember the two condition. One is ray must be passes from denser medium to rarer medium. Ok, denser medium to rarer medium. Another condition, the angle of incident must be greater than critical angle. Now, we discuss the relation between critical angle and refractive index. So, we consider this condition. Ok, students. So, here what happened? Sin i by sin r equals to mu1 by mu2. Sin i by sin r equals to mu1 by mu2. Ok. Then here sin i that is the critical angle sin c and sin r the sin r is sin 90 degree that is equals to mu1 by mu2. Then as sin 90 equals to 1 we got sin c equals to mu1 by mu2. Ok. Then if we consider if, if we consider that rarer medium is the air medium, refractive index mu a, we know that the refractive index of air medium equals to 1 and denser medium take as this one is the water medium. So, that refractive index mu w is take as mu. So, put the value here. Okay. So, mu 1 equals to mu a, a. sin c equals to mu1 equals to mu a and mu w mu2 equals to mu w. We know that in refractive index of air medium equals to 1 and refractive index of water medium take as mu. So sin c equals to sin c equals to 1 by mu or mu equals to 1 by sin c. So what is mu? That mu is the refractive index of this second medium. Okay students? Example 1. What is the critical angle for a ray going from glass to water? Here, this one is the glass medium and this one is the water medium. Ray passes from glass to water medium. Glass to water medium. Now, calculate the critical angle. Okay, here, if we draw normal here, this one is I angle of incidence. And here ray passes along with the interface so that R equals to 90 degree and this angle of incidence is known as critical angle. Okay, here the refractive index of glass medium that mu z equals to 2.6 and refractive index of water that is 1.3. We know that students the sin c equals to mu 1 by mu 2. Okay, that mu1 is the refractive index of rarer medium and mu2 is the refractive index of denser medium. So, here mu1 is the refractive index of water medium and mu2 is the refractive index of glass medium. So, put the value that sin c equals to mu w by mu g. So, mu w that is 1.3 and mu g that is 2.6 that is equals to half. So, sin c is equals to half. So, 
and sin c is equals to sin 30 that is sin 30 is equals to half so c equals to 30 degree that here the critical angle is 30 degree okay students students here another example take us a source of light is in water okay the source of light is in water at some depth from the water surface the depth is taken as h the depth is taken as h now the source of light comes from water to outside water to outside take as that water medium refractive index mu2 and that air medium that refractive index mu1 we know that in case of air medium that refractive index 1 and in case of water medium that refractive index mu2 is taken as mu. Now students what happened? The ray which is passes normal to the interface there is no deviation occur and that is refracted. Now the ray which are obliquely incidence here what happen? They are refracted. Slightly refracted. Slightly deviate their path and refracted and at a certain point the ray passes along with the interface the ray passes along with the interface if it is a couple i mean equal to total internal reflection the condition to generally as incident angle is increased that refraction angle is also increases every point refraction takes place at a certain point that refraction angle is equal to 90 degree and that refracted ray passes along with the interface at that condition that incident angle is the critical angle here yeah. that incident angle is the critical angle okay now further as incident ray comes that incident ray here that incident angle is greater than critical angle in this case. That incident angle is greater than critical angle. Okay. Then we know that as incident angle is greater than critical angle. Then what happened? The ray. What happened? The ray returned to the same medium. So here the ray returned to the same medium. Okay. So up to this region. Up to this region, we see the source of light. But further next, as that incident angle is greater than critical angle, at that condition, we does not show any source of light. Okay, that means how much will it occur? Up to that R equals to 90, up to 8 degree region, they refracted hub. That means the ray cono. Water medium to air medium ko pass kariyo, to aamko ethi ki region nahi light dekha juwa. Taa par jodhi aamne obliquely dekhu chhe, se condition de, a condition de kama chhe, ray parallel to, parallel to interface ho chhe. Next jodhi incident angle increase ho chhe, at that condition incident angle is greater than critical angle, so the ray reflected to the same medium. Mane joh medium lo jai thila same medium ka suche, to aamno paakha ko source of light pahun chhe maamne. Tahele aao ethi taamko dekha jhe maa ki light dekha jau ni. तो हमको ओनली क्यों रीजन तो देखा हुआ ची अप टू दिस रीजन बुझे ला तो ए तो जो है तो पैरालल ही के अलोंग विथ द इंटरफेस जाओ ची ए पॉइंट तो आप तो हमको देखा जी बो नहीं ओनली इतनी की रीजन है देखा जी बो ठीक है जी मिले दिस रीजन यू सी द सोर्स ऑफ लाइट सो स्टूडेंट्स इफ दिस वन इज द सोर्स ऑफ is a spherical in surface, spherical in nature. Then what is the area? That what is the area of this sphere? That we know that area A equals to pi r square. And what is this radius? This radius is from the from this point to this center to the point at which critical angle is produced. R is equals to 90. This one distance is R. In your question, R is given h is given also mu value is given you determine that area so first one students what is r okay we first determine the r then we put the formula and get the answer so sin c equals to sin 30 
equals to mu1 by mu2. We know that then mu1 was equal first medium to refractive index that is air medium refractive index 1 and mu2 that is the refractive index of water that mu2 equals to mu. So we got that sin c equals to 1 by mu. Then as that students if this angle is c that means if this line and this line is parallel to each other this angle is c that means this angle is also c then cos c equals to we know that root over of 1 minus sin square mu so sin, sin square c cos c equals to 1 minus sin square c okay the answer come 1 minus 1 by mu whole square then 1 by mu square okay then Achha. If we take tan value of this C, then tan C equals to tan C equals to P by B. If we take this one is theta, so this equals to this one is B, this one is P, and this one is H. So tan C equals to P by B. So P by B. P by B means P is the radius and B is the height or the depth. From interface to the source of light. Okay, you put H. Tan C equals to sin C by cos C. Okay, sin C, you put the value 1 by mu. Cos C, you put the value root over of 1 by 1 minus mu square equals to R by H. Then, then here, 1 by mu by root over of 1 by 1 minus 1 by mu square. You solve first this one. So, what is the answer? 1 by mu into this one divided by mu square minus 1 by mu square equals to r by h. Okay, then next one. 1 by mu into root over of mu square by mu square minus 1 equals to r by h. Okay, then here root over if we take this root over 1 by mu into mu by root over of mu square minus 1. Mu mu cancel equals to r by h. Then what is r? r equals to h go to this side. h by root over of mu square minus 1. r equals to h by root over of mu square minus 1. This is the relation between r and h. Okay students. So in your question if r is given if r is given that means you put the value of the uh, of r and evaluate the surface area okay but if in your question h is given okay then at that condition a equals to pi in your r you put this value h by root over of mu square minus 1 root square okay you remember this one r equals to h by root over of mu square minus 1. This is the procedure so that we can determine the relation between r and h but in your numericals you must remember this formula, put the formula and get the answer. Okay. Take another example here the source of light from a distance h equals to root 7 centimeter from the depth of the water surface. Okay. And that refractive index of water that is 4 by 3. The value is given in your question. Then what is the surface area required to cover the source of light? Okay. What is the surface area required to cover this source of light? So that surface area formula that A equals to pi r square. And what is R? That R equals to we know that H by root over of mu square minus 1. You put the value of H and mu in this equation. Okay. So R equals to H that is root 7 divided by root over of mu square that is 4 by 3 square minus 1. Okay. Then what is A? That A equals to pi into R square pi r square pi into this value square that is root 7 divided by root over of 4 by 3 square minus 1 root square okay so you solve this one and at the value of pi you put pi equals to 22 by 7 
and solve this equation then you got the area of this block so that so that you can block the source of light okay Let's discuss some phenomena on the basis of total internal reflection. Most popular phenomena that is one is mirage formation, another one is optical fiber. We go to that topic one by one. So let's discuss how mirage is produced. It is an optical illusion observed in desert that a traveler can see a similar pond of water or a watery image at some distance. Similar pond of water near it to a tree. How it happened? Take us, this one is the real object and take that position O. In that hot summer days, what happened? That the layer near it to the ground, a layer that temperature is increased. So, as the temperature is increased, density of the layer decreases. As density decreases, layer which is nearer to the ground have refractive index less compared to above. So, the layer which is nearer to the ground, take as this one is the rarer medium and that above layer is the denser medium. As we go towards the earth, go towards the ground of the earth that density gradually decreases density gradually decreases okay because of temperature increase density gradually decreases take us here one incident ray goes from denser to rarer medium so in every case that refraction takes place so as it goes towards the rarer medium, denser to rarer medium, it went away from the normal. Then here also, it went away from the normal. Went away from the normal. At a particular point, as that, at a particular point, as that angle of incidence is greater than critical angle, the ray is totally reflected back. Here, The ray is totally reflected back to the same medium. That ray is totally reflected back to the same medium. And reaches the eye of the observer. So it appears that the ray is coming from this position. That is the ray is coming from here. It appears that the ray is coming from here. That is take us that position I. Because of the ray is propagated in a straight line path it appears that the ray is coming from this position i so that illusion is created now go to discuss another phenomena of total internal reflection that is optical fiber optical fiber is a very thin transparent fiber very very thin transparent fiber which is used to transmit signals that may be audio and video is used to transmit signal. Here optical fiber is mainly used for no loss of intensity of signal. No loss of intensity of signal. That means in this case the intensity of the input signal is equal to the intensity of the output signal. Intensity of input signal is equal to output signal. Okay. Now we discuss how there is no loss of intensity takes place. Okay. As we input the signal in this optical fiber undergoes a series of total internal reflection. We know that in case of total internal reflection that is no loss is occurred. 
flexion takes place. So now, if we input any signal in the optical fiber, that signal undergoes number of series of total internal reflection. So how can total internal reflection takes place? Optical fiber consisting of number of layers. The first layer is core. It is covered by the second layer called as cladding. Then the core and cladding is covered up by buffer coating. That buffer coating provide safety to core and cladding. Provide safety and strength to the core and cladding. And the outer layer is the safety layer. Now, here take us that refractive index of core that is mu1 and the cladding from refractive index take us mu2. And as we provide the signals in that optical fiber, that input signal, that incident angle is must be greater than critical angle. This one is the condition. Here, that incident angle must be greater than critical angle. As we put the input signal in such a way that the angle of incident is greater than critical angle. So, it undergoes number of or series of total internal reflection. Here, another condition that mu1 is greater than mu2. That means the core have the denser medium compared to the cladding and that cladding have the rarer medium. So that when ray passes from denser to rarer medium here. When they passes from denser to rarer medium, so here the as angle of incident is greater than critical angle, the ray is totally returned to the same medium. Further here, that ray is returned to the same medium in such a way that that ray is undergoes a series of total internal reflection. Okay, students. So you remember only this two central core having the refractive index is greater refractive index compared to cladding. Mu1 is greater than mu2. So that this phenomena is takes place. It's all about optical fiber. So students, here we solve some numericals. That numericals may be your board exam or an entrance level. In that numericals, what happened? That diagram is provided. Also here, that critical angle is provided. Angle of incident is provided. You determine the path of the angle of reflection and in which position that image is produced. So, students, conventionally, a numerical sudare diagram dee thi diagram pain the critical angle be provide thi Dekho, ethe example rame koreng tumko dekho ji. Ray, mu ethe gote pakara nahi ji. Either it a change hai thai pare, diagram change hai thai pare, but procedure, tricks, so all the same roi Okay. So, in this, all figure, all have that critical angle that is 42 degree. We take that all diagram have critical angle 42 degree. That means all have same refractive index. We know that mu equals to 1 by sin c. As critical angle of all this diagram is same, that means all substance made of same refractive index. Now, here we take that first diagram. Here this angle is 90 degree. This two angle is 45 degree. And here that question is given that this one is the incident ray and angle of incident that is 45 degree. Angle of incident is 45 degree. That means and diagram in that diagram the ray is already given. Okay. At the point of incident first you draw normal. At the point of incident you first draw normal. So the angle between normal to incident ray that is the angle of incidence and this one equals to 45 degree. Okay students. Now as the ray passes from denser to rarer medium first. Achha, in this case what happened? 
when the rays go to this medium, the rays perpendicular to the medium. Here, ray passes from ray rod to denser medium. Here, A to glass medium. Take us, this one is the glass medium having refractive index 42 degree. So, here this ray is perpendicular to the medium or perpendicular to the interface. That means here this ray passes from ray rod to denser medium but normal to that interface. So, here there is no deviation occur. This one is the incident ray. And at this condition, this one is the incident angle. Here what happened? Ray is passes from denser to radar medium. This one is the actual path. Denser to radar medium. But as that incident angle is greater than critical angle, critical angle is 42 degree. Here incident angle is 45 degree. So as incident angle is greater than critical angle, the ray return to the same medium. Here and obey laws of reflection. So here I is equal to R. So here that reflected ray is this one is the reflected ray and this angle is 45 degree. Okay students. Now this one is the reflected ray and passes from denser to radar medium normal to that interface. So there is no deviation occur and this one is the reflected ray. You clear students? Next go to another diagram. Take this one is the ninth angle 90 degree and this two angle is 45 degree and this one is the incident ray here this one is the incident ray or you take another incident ray this one is the another incident ray and here that object a b take as the object a b these are two incident ray okay so here what happened when that ray passes from denser ray rod to denser medium they are normal to They are normal to the interface. So there is no deviation occur and reach at this face. And here you draw normal at the point of incident. At the point of incident you draw normal. Okay. Then, then here that incident angle is 45 degree. This two angle 45 degree. And this angle is also 45 degree. Okay. And for this Condition also critical angle is 42 degree that means angle of incident is greater than critical angle. That means the ray does not passes from denser to rarer medium. It return to the same medium and that obey laws of reflection. So here angle of incident is equal to angle of reflection. So this total, this angle is also 45 degree. Same here. This angle also 45 degree. Okay. Then here what happened? At this point of incident further you draw normal. Further you draw normal. And here what happened? If this one is 45 degree. This angle is also 45 degree. 90 degree. This angle is 45 degree. This mean, That means this angle is also 45 degree. Okay. As this angle is 45 degree. That means in this condition. This is the angle of incident and this one is also 45 degree. Okay. So, here what happened? Further here, ray passes from denser to radar medium as that angle of incident, this one, is greater than 45 degree. That means as the angle of incident is greater than critical angle, the ray does not go from denser to radar medium return to the same medium and reflection takes place. Also here the angle is 45 degree. That means in this both case reflection takes place I is equal to R. So it, it will be reflection above 45 degree as well. It will be reflex, reflection angle con 45 degree rival. Same E as well that are reflected ray. So in this you know, so they could like go from this and return. So here B point is arise and here A point is arise. That means the diagram image is produced here. Understand students? Next go to another example. Here 
in this diagram, this one is the incident ray passes from rarer to denser medium and normal to the interface. So, here there is no deviation occur, this one is the incident ray. Holds on this phase, at that point of incident you draw normal. Take that, here that incident angle is 42 degree. In your question given that, that incident angle is 45 degree. That means that angle of incident is equal to critical angle. As angle of incidence is equal to critical angle. Students, at the point of incident you draw normal, the angle between incident ray and normal. This one is the incident angle. And here, as that angle of incident is is equal to critical angle, here refraction takes place, but the reflected ray is along with the interface. That means here this one is the reflected ray. Okay, students. Next, go to another example. Here, in this case, this one is the interface. This one is the incident ray and normal to the interface. So, there is no deviation occur. This one is the incident ray. At the point of incidence, you draw normal. Okay? That means the angle between incident ray to normal. This one is the angle of incident. This one is 60 degree. In your question given. Now, students, this one is the actual path of the ray. Then, at what angle it is deviate? So, as here, in this all diagram critical angle C equals to 42 degree. That means angle of incidence 60 degree. So, angle of incidence is greater than critical angle. So, the ray return to the same medium and reflection takes place over laws of reflection. Here, this one is the reflected ray. And this angle is the angle of reflection. Angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. And this one is the emergent ray. Okay, students. So, in diamond, the refractive index of diamond that is 2.4. As the refractive index is maximum in case of diamond, so that critical angle is very less. Very, very less. That is nearly about 24 degree. Nearly about 24 degree. Okay. So, we know that as that refractive index is maximum, that means that critical angle is very, very less. In case of diamond, that critical angle is very, very less. So, as we take this one is the incident ray and falls here and normal to the interface. So, there is no deviation occur. Now, at this point, you draw normal. As that angle of incident is greater than critical angle, here diamond is so cut that the light entering the diamond occur is of total internal reflection. So here reflect, reflection takes place for the here you draw normal and here reflection takes place and for the here reflection takes place. Okay, so a ray undergoes repeated or series of total internal reflection in case of diamond. Okay? So this one is sparkling of diamond. That is also another example of total internal reflection. In case of diamond, due to that refractive index is very large, critical angle is very less. The face of diamond is so cut that light entering the crystal suffer repeated times of total internal reflection. So, diamond sparkle. This one is the one of example of total internal reflection. Thank you students for your support. If these videos are helping you anyway, then share with your friend circle so they also benefited in this lockdown period.